Hi, this is Al of Resurrections and Adam Warlock and Thanos Podcast and proud member of the collective, and you're listening to Into the Night, the Moon Knight Podcast. Yes, hello, welcome back, loony listeners. You are listening to Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. This is episode 190, and you are with two high priests of Conchu again. Yes, two for the price of one. I'm I'm one of them, Ray, and with me is uh, none other than the irrepressible Rebecca. Rebecca, how are you going? I'm good, I'm good. We only have people with whose names start with R, E. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's... We're very elitist. R is all all you need to to make yeah, it to the to, to make it to the idle chat. <laughs> <laughs> to make it to the end, yes. And and as Rebecca has mentioned, this is an idle chat, as always, at the beginning of the week. And this uh, time round, we'll be going through what I've just penned loosely as Oscar and the rest. It's it's basically Moon Knight uh, and how the TV show and the character may may factor into the rest of the MCU be it the rest of the Disney Plus TV shows or potentially the, the greater characters of the of the cinematic universe. So uh, this should be an interesting an interesting discussion. Not only that, Rebecca, but, you know, um, this was off the back of, I think, that one... Of um, the last chat we had. Like, um, yeah. yeah, just put it into context. After we signed off last time, mm. we were talking about the storylines that we would like to see in the MCU. Uh, me and Ray carried on chatting mm-hmm. on Facebook and it sort of led to this, and then I was like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" Remind us, we should talk about this the next time. So, uh, um, <laughs> well, because uh, it, it turned out to be quite a fun thing that we didn't touch on. So, um, which was that sort of interconnection, which is obviously yes. one of the big strengths of the MCU currently is that um, the interconnectedness. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yes, yeah, and uh, uh, so and and we were start. Uh, the reason it it started off is. You know, like I, it, I think it was a standing joke for for me, certainly through the Netflix Marvel, um, and I sort of lured everyone else into this belief <laughs> that every time you saw a taxi in New York, it was probably Jake Lockley. Yeah, dodgy yeah, moustache and and, and hat could, and all. You could just get like because we were so desperate for that Easter egg to happen. Yeah, that sure. Was like, every time you see a yellow cab, and so then we started thinking, well. Moon Knight's actually going to be in the MCU. So yeah. who would he have in his cab and which other shows uh, could he turn up in? And I think, obviously, I think we all uh, believe there'll be some potential crossover with Blade, but mm-hmm. that's a film. So and that's yeah. a bit further down the path. So we were just like, yeah. So that's that's where it led. Is like, who would you have in his cab, and how many shows could he be in? <laughs> I know. I like the whole premise of of the cab being the kind of like the the central meeting point for all the characters to potentially, you know, cross cross paths with Jake. Yeah, I th- I think it was um, because something I'd spoke I talked to Ray about before we recorded last time was, mm. uh, wouldn't it be cool if there was one episode that was just him driving people yeah. around in his cab? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like um. Uh, as a sort of like almost a bottle episode but also this one that you could have a lot of fun with like um pulling other people in whether it's mm. uh policemen from from his show that he's interacting with without them knowing he's moon knight or mm-hmm. people from other shows so then we started listing them and it was just and that's where this this whole idea came. but actually very seriously i mean it would be like it would be kind of cool like um i i don't think there's any chance of it in the ones that have already wrapped so i think like mm. this the current um, cycle, which is uh, uh, WandaVision, Falcon yes. and the Winter Soldier, and Loki. So I don't think there's any chance of that because they were all pre-casting, mm-hmm. um, and I, I, they don't seem to fit very they well. Don't. Like feasibly, Falcon and the Winter Soldier will have some stuff in New York that could, but mm-hmm. I think it's going to be too high action. And I mean, like, don't get me wrong. If we see a yellow cab, I will still be <laughs> thinking it's Moon Knight. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, if you see anyone in white, I'll assume it's Moon Knight. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think any of the ones after around when he was cast have a chance. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, uh, there's also the the possibility, Rebecca, as well of of um, I I always think of in Winter Soldier them talking about 
Doctor Strange. You know, just a name thrown out, regardless uh-huh. of casting and stuff. So, uh, not saying that I've got any high hopes that the likes of Falcon and Winter Soldier or Loki or even WandaVision will have any reference to Moon Knight, but I mean, there is. Feasibly. A... I mean, yeah, yeah there's exactly. an outside chance. There's an outside. I think Loki's going to be interesting because of the sort of uh, time travel jumping around you bits. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think that's what makes that one a little bit difficult for me to get. That's why I think Falcon and the Winter Soldier is probably the most likely of those three. Yeah, and, and um, Loki's like Loki's but if also Loki goes. But also, yeah. if Loki jumps into the future, yeah, then who knows? Or bets are off. You know, that's um, true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, mean I, I, I think my first one was joking about actually in Hawkeye you could have him as Stephen Grant. Because yeah. we know, or, or or Jake, because um, we know they go to a fancy party. I don't think that's a spoiler, particularly. Uh, we've seen uh, them in sort of fancy party gear. Uh, so right, I, yeah. I think that would be like kind of funny if he was there as a sort of rich New Yorker, uh, yeah. number one. Uh, and we'd all know because it's Oscar Isaac. But you could just see his back, so it might not be Oscar Isaac. But uh, again, there's a, you know, a lot mm. of Hawkeye takes place on the streets of New York. Yes. And it's filming at the same. There's a slight cross. There'll be a slight crossover in filming because, uh, or it may have wrapped just before Moon Knight. But it's. It, I'm guessing it would be feasible for them to get Oscar in if they needed to, or to do a bit of post. Mm. Um, get him in a cab with uh, one of the Hawkeyes running away in the back, or something like that. As long I mean, as he's not the, as long as he's not the one that runs over Lucky, we're okay. <laughs> I hope not. No, no. <laughs> that's uh, a villain story. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, also as well, the way I'm thinking, like, just connections with, say, the likes of Hawkeye, not necessarily just being that New York connection. Um, dare I say, with the, I mean, he was a Merc, Soldier of Fortune. Um, yes, you know, and and there, there could be a flashback or something. I mean, I, I was just trying to tie it in with Hawkeye and say Black Widow. I mean, they could potentially if, have they, if they if they do his CIA connections again. Yes, yes. You, you know, yeah. that it opens up quite a lot of uh, people he could have interacted with in Marvel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, listeners will be familiar. Rebecca and I just recently did a, a fantastic review of <laughs> High Strangers or High Strangers, yeah. a, a totally absolutely bonkers. I think we call totally. it. Uh, yeah, it uh, is a bonkers run through Moon yeah. Knight. But I mean, that um, was purely that was purely Mark Spector as a CIA agent. Well, I mean, yeah. he, his ties. Well, with it CIA, was tapping so. on his CIA yeah. ties. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, uh, yeah, I, yeah. So there's there's so many things that tie him in. Mm. So so looking at then Rebecca, you mentioning um, the the ones that have just kind of really finished wrapping uh like one division falcon winter soldier loki them aside uh you've got a note here so we know in early march it looks like in yeah. budapest of all places for moon Knight at least <laughs> yeah, yeah they will start shooting uh there Which are i'm very excited about because i absolutely love budapest like yeah. the uh architecture there is so spectacular I'm looking mm-hmm. forward to seeing it. And, and so. again, that could be that could be CIA leanings or, or Merc leanings. I, I don't know. Who knows? It, just, could be, I mean, it could just it could be because it's cheap. Well, yeah. Because uh, I know they've done a lot in Prague because it was cheap. And, um, okay. So it'd be, it'd yeah. be interesting. Like, uh, but yeah, so that's because it starts shooting, I think, on the 1st of March, early March. Mm-hmm, his early birthday's March. the same as mine, so... The night, He'll be shooting yeah. for his birthday. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to know, if you want to know Oscar Isaac's birthday, ninth of March. There you go. Um, um, but but there are but other, yeah. the, these other shows which are concurrent, yeah. I guess, to this. So I just, uh, I just sort of lose. I think Hawkeye probably will have wrapped, or it'll be close to wrapping by then. It it's seems to be well into it, doesn't it? About filming now. Yeah. 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 So I mean, like, I'm guessing there's a tiny bit of crossover there. Um, Who so knows? Ms. Marvel is filming now. So, sorry, Rebecca. Just, just to backtrack, who knows with Hawkeye? I mean, you know how secretive they can be about squirreling right. someone onto set. Like, Oscar I mean, like, may look, have... look what they did. Well, look what they did with uh, J. J. Jameson for Spar from Home. Yes, Ugh, you know no when they want to be, and and if you just need a cab and two actors, you can be pretty, <laughs> or two, three actors, you can be pretty quiet. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, true. Or, or as long as you only need an indoor location. Yep. Um, and some actors, you can pretty much hide away anything yeah yeah uh, exactly so i mean that that's not a that's all right, i was i interrupted you there but that hawkeye you know although it, it's nearly finished i mean who knows there could be like a little a little invite it just seems like it just seems like a really easy one to get 
yep. either Stephen or Jaken. I'd say. Like, I'm not expecting to see. I don't think. I don't think I'm expecting to see Moon Knight in any of them. But I'm possibly expecting no. to see Mark, Jake, or Stephen in yep. them, like, rather that... than the actual. I mean, like, until we get to sort of later ones once he's been introduced. Mm-hmm. I-, I reckon the the. I mean, the New York based thing. Definitely, the, the front runner would be Jake. Like you know, yeah, just have him yeah. zipping around. I, and um, also, they're always running away, and they're always like you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I can just away. see them like not having the money for a cab fare or something. You know, it's very Hawkeye. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh know? yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but sticking with New York as well, uh, there's a lot. Sorry, you mentioned Miss Marvel as well. Uh, she yeah, Hulk. I think that was so also currently the... filming. So then, and then mm-hmm. the next ones are what I, I don't know. If, I mean, like Miss Marvel, not so sure how no, they fit it in, but it would no. be a nice wink. It'd be a nice Easter egg again. Yeah. Any cab I see as a as an ongoing feature. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think more so. I in, in she, yeah, I think more so in She Hulk. Like, yeah, just because... for sure. She Hulk will be because apparently She Hulk. Is going to have a lot of guest stars. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, getting that mixed up. Did they talk about Charlie Cox being? Oh no, that was for Spider Man, wasn't it? That was. For, I mean, it's yeah. heavily rumored, but it's also yeah. rumored for She Hulk. Okay. It's always rumored for She Hulk because lawyer. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, no, that would be good to to see. Yeah, I mean, we know that Hulk's in She Hulk. Yes, but not, yes. I don't know for how long. But like, and, Bruce will be in it. So. True, and Blom- Blomsky out of all people. Tim yeah, Roth. Which that's I, cool. Right, that's I know. so. Cool. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, but uh, I think someone said it, there'd be a lot of guest stars. Okay. Yeah. Now they don't have to be established. Marvel, no. like they could be little people. You know, they could be little characters. You know, which will be kind of fun, like Frogman or whatever. <laughs> He's always my go-to <laughs> little character. The Wrecking Crew. That would be cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah. who knows? You know, like, I was yeah. like, but it's, it's, it'll be fun again and uh, definitely potential there. Yeah. Now, the other one, the next one, it kind of it's brought in the canvas a bit more. We're talking a bit more intergalactic. The Secret Invasion, not necessarily is it going to be set in, you know, outer space yeah, or anything. we have no but, idea. Like, mm. Do you think? And Secret... I don't know. I don't know. Is Moon Knight before Secret Invasion? I don't know when Moon Knight falls. I, I guess it is. I, I, it is. I think I, it, well, must well, be, I... it must be like after Hawkeye, yeah. based on what, what order they're filming them in. So it'll be around She Hulk and Moon Knight. It'll be around filmed yeah. around the same time. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm only thinking like the when they announced it and the criminal uh, and the amount of cast and crew that we're getting for them. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, yes, yeah, so Secret Invasion announced <laughs> much later. So I'm assuming, yeah, yeah much later. Um, here's the thing, though, Rebecca. Do you reckon that Secret Invasion will really like cast a net of making us speculate whether there are a lot more scrolls in potentially these newer shows? You know, they might be setting them up. Um, do you I reckon mean, that might be the case? Or? I mean, it's already started with one division, so uh, has it? People... Well, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> I think every time you, I think since Far From Home, you have to be open to yeah. there being. I mean, no, I've seen people speculate it about characters in one division. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. There's always sort of yes. There's... Well, because remember, yeah. like Monica has ties to the scrolls. Like she's met That's the scrolls. That's and true. Um, in the most recent episode, it looks like the people who are loyal to her have a Hallistar on their caps. Oh. oh. Um, whereas, like, I don't, the bad guy, the bad yeah, well, the just, FBI uh, guy doesn't. Yeah. So, I mean, I've seen people speculate that he might be one of the sort of bad Ooh. squirrels. Um, That's cool. I, yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I don't hold much weight by it, but, like, no. I think, what I mean is, like, I think it's already opened that. Yeah, I think, I, I think since Far From Home, we've and and also and obviously because it's got Monica in it, yeah, 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 um, yeah. Uh, leads it to that. Like, I don't know if we're going to think that so much in Ms. Marvel and Hawkeye, but I don't know. We'll see. Mm, if they want to properly build up Secret Invasion, maybe there will be like more characters. Not, I think, any time you see a character not acting like you expect them to, <laughs> because people did say that about Nick Fury in, in Far From Home that. He, he wasn't seem to be. He ah. wasn't quite like Nick Fury, and then it all made sense by the end credit scene. But he was meant to be a Skrull way back, right? Wasn't he? Wasn't he like um, back in the nineties? Like, wasn't that the thing as well? Like, wasn't he replaced? Did I get that? Totally Are we wrong? talking comics versus MCU? Or no, no, not? sorry, just MCU stuff. Oh, I like, don't know. Yeah, because I, I thought in Captain Marvel, it. Um, 
Oh, I'm getting my movies confused now. That you are. Th- that no, it's reveal... far from home. It's far from... Okay. Okay, so it wasn't... Okay, so the the guy that um, assembled the Avengers was Nick Fury. It wasn't... <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay, yes. okay. Okay, cool. I think, I think, well, I mean, look, they could pull the rug under us and say no, mm. but I believe. I okay. believe the only okay. established not Nick Fury is the one from Far From, from Far Home. From Home. Okay, I've got to watch that again. Uh, I'll, I'll because just, he appeared, but he appeared to be on a space station chilling out, which could have been part of Sword. Yeah, because yes. one of the things yeah. I love about One Division is that Sword just appears. Yeah, like, there's no explanation like for why Sword exists. It's just there. Well, it's which Marie, I like Marie Rambo, right? So she, yeah, she but like you don't. Up. I mean, it, but that it's not really explained. It's just like the fact that it's not explained in. Like the fact that it's not mentioned in Endgame or Infinity, you know. Oh like, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I'm just saying like that. Swords suddenly exist in the Marvel universe. That's fine. That's mm. fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would rather that than they had went into some sort of painful explanation yeah, that yeah. took up time and was very clunky. Yeah, that's but it does true. make me laugh that sword just exists. You know, like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and it well, makes so... sense given the context of Captain Marvel and. Yeah the threat of infinity war that you would suddenly get a bit more worried about the threat from space oh exactly exactly yeah i mean it's it's beyond shield um in that yeah. capacity or, and albeit, shields, yeah shields dismantled this dismantled yeah i mean yeah, so um kind of <laughs> it's all a bit of a mess if you like really break it down but like yeah. uh yeah so i mean um, we so we don't really know with secret invasion that's a uh, mm. either yes or no to me he'll either appear in it or he won't uh, okay, well, how about, I mean, maybe this is the same answer, but do you reckon Secret Invasion then will um, have an impact on the storytelling of Moon Knight? Uh, no. No. I think yeah. I think we'll get Moon Knight. Yeah. And then once he's established from his own TV show, there's a possibility he'll get involved in what's going on with Secret Invasion. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, true. It's, it's kind I... of my... Uh, rather than people... Because I think Moon Knight, the show, will probably introduce people we don't really know from other places. Mm-hmm. So we won't know if they're acting normally or not. Yeah. So if it does, it'll just be a, a nod that we find out about later, but it won't actually affect the show as such. Okay. Yeah, no, that's... I mean, I can kind of, kind of... You know, my guess is that they have too yeah. much to do with Moon Knight to well, tie it yeah. to too much. Well, I can see that. I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, despite what I'll, I've got, like, notes a bit later um, on on Moon Knight, yeah. I think I think he's pretty much separated from anything cosmic and stuff. I think what my assumption is is that it, it's very um, conchu, you know mystical mm-hmm. magical related um yeah i think i as think that's to i think he's going to yeah. be the first i mean he is going to be the first supernaturally one mm. depending on what happens with one division um but as such he's you know like he's a slight turn from that magical phase of marvel yeah, yeah. like you know he's a sort of uh, offshoot of that yeah so i i think uh, similar to um what we were saying before about how not being a really good fit is that I don't think, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think the Secret Invasion will. Um... I could, you know, if, if they need to assemble Earth heroes to fight, yes, then I could, he, I, I don't see why he wouldn't. Oh, no, no, but yeah, like, exactly. You know, but uh, yeah, but inside of the rest of it, yeah, I don't know. No. Yeah, I mean, as in his own story, as in the own series, I don't think it will be touched too much by the Secret no. Invasion. But yeah, exactly as you say, I can see how, like, you know, call to arms, get as disparate a people as you can and here's this guy who's you know um yeah. got a, a deity attached to him um, well they might you know because he's newly on the radar and they trust that he's not yeah. you know yeah. being taken over by a scroll yeah. or his yeah. mental health issues means it's fairly obvious to tell if he's been taken over by a scroll oh that's true <laughs> that's true as well <laughs> um how about okay so we've got also two more um and they kind of are similar ish in the fact that they're yeah. more tech tech based iron heart and armor wars which will be coming out there they were the other released um announced shows yeah. um any bearing you think um I, I i think i think uh iron heart i believe she's in chicago oh, okay. Riri. yeah but then she, and then maybe goes to mit 
Yeah. So I don't see that. I think so that's probably the next one that I think probably wouldn't have any connection. Mm, yeah, I can't see who. Um, I don't know. They they just don't fit. Uh, I can't see yeah. any any way that they would kind of. I mean, know. look, you know, if 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 it ends up being set in New York, and you still have the taxi connection, but oh, otherwise, yeah, of course, yeah, <laughs> the default you taxi to, you know, connection. Like, but otherwise, I don't, yeah. I don't think so. I'm not 100 percent sure if she's Chicago. I just have this feeling she's Chicago. Okay, I, I haven't read um, any of the comics, so is she been in a the comics? long time since I've read them? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and Armor, Armor Wars. Wars. Um, that's Brody. That it's uh, about yeah. Te- we don't ben know. Stolen. I mean, we don't know a lot. We we don't know a lot about. I I we don't know a lot mm. about that. Except no. it's going to be about people stealing Tony's tech. Yeah, uh, and it will star Rhodey. And um, I mean, it, it... I, I I think there's a given that Justin Hammer will be in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's yeah. not been announced, but oh, I will be, be so very cool. upset if we don't get him. Sam back. Rockwell, because I love Sam Rockwell. Yeah, he's awesome. And um, but yeah, I don't unless again you see um, Stephen turning up because of or uh, Mercs for Hire potentially. Yeah, to, yeah. To Unless, steal I mean like because we've got to remember that Moon Knight does have cool gadgets. He does. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. That kind of like yeah. we I mean I it's it's unlikely it can follow the story of the comic because we don't have Tony. Yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, Armor yeah. Wars, yeah, for sure. So yeah. um I yeah, I, I think those I don't really see him having a massive role in it i could see them working it in but i don't think it would be i think they're gonna have an interesting story to tell i'm just i think once we hear more casting we'll get a better yes. sense of where that one's going yeah that's um, a bit too. but i would bit... very much expect sam rockwell to be announced oh yeah and, me too uh, and yeah because um... i mean like i i don't see how you do it without justin hammer wanting the armor yep. and somebody speculated it would actually be quite cool given that Iron Heart and Armor Wars were announced towards the end, if there was some sort of interaction between them. Oh, okay. You know, like, they almost did it like a comic event where you've got yeah. sort of alternating episodes or something like that. But I don't know if they'd do that. That's a bit mad. Um, <laughs> in a, in well, a fun, uh, yeah. good way. But, like, that'd be kind yeah. of an experimental, cool way to do it. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I expect Riri will probably show up in Armor Wars as well. Oh yeah, I, I, I reckon she'd probably have to, right? I mean, just with the connection of of, of the armor. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, exactly. But, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, but and I mean, also but, interestingly yeah. enough, Riri's already <clears throat> been cast, which is oh yeah, kind she of has, interesting. She? Yeah, it's really like, it's early kind of, on. It, yeah, it, it is kind of interesting. But then they announced um, T'Challa very early. That's so, true. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Marvel's so weird on when it announces stuff. <laughs> I know. I mean, Mo- you know, let's like, just take Moon Knight. Oscar Isaac's uh... barely got, hasn't actually been announced by Marvel mm, yeah. and is shooting next week, you know, like a couple of weeks' yeah. time. But, you know, obviously we do have confirmation from director and cinematographer. Um, but, yeah, uh, but then they announced Ethan Hawke. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So it's, it's it's so weird. It's, it's it's a very weird little how they announce things. Yeah. Uh, just just as an aside as well, Looney's. Um, so potentially when this episode drops, who knows, Rebecca? There might it may have been. Um, so you've just reminded me how like you know they're very close to. Well, we are close to March. Um, yeah. So something surely will be announced sooner or later, probably to put all our. Um, predictions to rest you know i.e oscar isaac um but maybe we will get stuff on who ethan Hawke. i mean i hope we i hope we get to hear a bit more about you know frenchy and Mm, yeah uh you know gosh yeah yeah Yeah. and and, uh confirmation of marlene potentially if if may isn't marlene may (laughs) yeah tell him Um, i mean maybe some set pictures you know like we're getting to the point where who knows what we're gonna get it's uh next time we come to talk about more you know Moon Knight in the MCU, we may actually have something chunky. Yeah, no, no, no for sure. So, um, so Rebecca, you mentioned. So I guess then our best bets would be it looks like Hawkeye, She Hulk, just with regards to Moon Knight yeah. potentially um, popping his head in or, or being referenced or being mentioned. Uh, Hawkeye, She Hulk, probably the main ones, I guess. Yep. If and you, then if you Blade. Cut it down to, and we, Blade, I think of course. We've all, yeah. I think we've all decided that's a given. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, um, I love how that we've decided that's a given, but we've all decided it's a given. Like, it's not necessarily <laughs> a given, but it, you know, it'd be cool. Oh, would be it would be very cool, and that's a, a long. Or way. if we get Blade in Moon Knight, because remember, Blade's yeah. another one we've heard the announcement of. Well, he's been announced. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And it's conceivable that um, that Mahashala Ali will. Yeah. Um, will uh yeah we'll, we'll make a tv appearance i mean yeah um that's where we saw him. also i forgot just before i forget um just remembered sorry just before i forget rebecca that other tv show that was announced by ryan coogler is it like the kingdom of wakanda oh the wakanda like that? ones yeah yeah, yeah yeah so that will be another one that's you know down the pipeline somewhere but uh i guess i just wanted to post that question again always we do see black Panther and Moon Knight interact in the comics. Uh, mm-hmm. Is there anything by way of the gods, like Conchu and Bast in particular? Uh, That'd be do you think there's... really interesting? I mean, mm. he's doing what a series of shows? Uh, yeah, I, I'm assuming it's just like a world building thing for Wakanda. Um, yeah. yeah, just uh, I'm not sure who the characters are. It's probably everyone, basically, um, just to kind of show what's going on in Wakanda. That would be really cool. Yeah, he's yeah. yeah wow, five year exclusive deal. Mm, yeah. Disney. Um so that opens the door a lot. I, I if anything I think that's that's it. The big connection would probably be Conchu and Bast. Yeah, well, that's interesting um, that we'd actually have Conchu as the connection there. Mm. Yeah. So um we shan't forget that. I I don't no details I guess is that, I mean it's pretty much just early talks, but it seems to be somewhat confirmed by um Yeah. But scheduling wise, we'll we'll see. Uh, so Blade, um, look, I'm just going to throw as well Rebecca out there since we've mentioned yes. Blade, Shang Chi, um, the Eternals. Any? Do you think there's going to be any anything there? I think the Eternals has way too many characters in for like mm. them to start worrying. Are you about worried? Movies. Yeah, are you worried about the movie? No, not really, because no. I think they can juggle a team pretty well. They've shown that. Yep. Um, I just don't think we'll see too much interaction with okay. what we oh, already know. Yes. Like, because we've, yeah. you know, like, they've also got to get Dame Whitman in. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. just incidentally, oh, Rebecca. Um, <laughs> incidentally, he's got a, in March, he's got a comic coming out, doesn't he? I have got it ordered, yeah. Oh, I, I just saw the ad for it. Oh, it looks amazing. It. it looks Spiria. really good. Size Spiria. Yeah, that's yeah. Spiria. Oh, I bizarrely God. ordered the black blank cover variant i have no oh, idea why there you go there you go rebecca why not just a random why not right since yeah. shadow man i've been into the black covers no i, just, <laughs> I don't know why i just thought it sounded cool um but yeah i might change what variant i have but yeah uh mm-hmm. it sounds really good That's it. um yes. so dane whitman's so yeah. in yeah the eternals yeah you're right. i think it's going to be very much an insular thing as well there's just and I so think much to... she will probably be very its own thing as well mm-hmm um, well, mind you, how would they connect? I mean, apart from the Ten Rings, which we know, would yeah. you see any other connector to the MCU for Shang Chi? Um, uh, I think I think the Ten Rings is probably big enough to be big honest. Enough, the, yeah. the actual Mandarin. Will we get Trevor? Um, you reckon we'll get Trevor again? If we get Trevor, I think he'll just be being being killed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't see him lasting long. No, uh, no, no. I think we'll get the real Mandarin. I think he'll probably be. Uh, Shang Chi's dad. Yeah, yeah, I think he'll oh, be I think the, so too. So that gets rid of the Fu Manchu dodginess. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's gonna be so cool. And um, but still gives him a villain as a dad. Yeah. Uh, interestingly enough, that latest Iron Fist issue mm-hmm. has the guy that was raised as Shang Chi's brother, Midnight Sun. Oh, oh, so, oh, Midnight Sun. Yeah, yeah. yeah the um. Yeah. He we ended up having just to look figured, up, right? like, to he, double check who he was, but yeah, yeah, he he's, was. Um, uh, he's uh, an African African guy, but he's been he was disfigured, right? So he he yeah uh, yeah yeah yeah, and then and then raised alongside Shang Chi as his yeah. brother. Oh wow! Oh, so cool. That would be cool if we saw him. Yeah, that would be very. Uh, cool. I've yeah, heard, yeah. I've heard Iron. Um, and that wasn't. It? Oh God, what is it? Not Iron Fist. Um, oh God, he's, the, the villain for Shang Chi was. I think people were speculating. It's a guy with the the blades for his the hands. Um, oh God, I don't know. I don't know enough Shang Chi. Yeah, okay. But... I just read um a re- what, the early recent appearance of it. He's pretty funny. I mean, like, how does he 
you know, how does he eat? Yeah. <laughs> how does well, he hold we, the yeah. utensils? <laughs> anyway, Edward does the hands answered also. Oh, asked that's, all those questions. That's, yeah. That's like, true. That's true. Um, but, I mean, Iron Fist has a chance of showing up. They had the rights yeah. back to Iron Fist before Shang-Chi started filming, so... Mm, that's so cool. Couldn't learn at least. Well, maybe. Yeah. I mean, yeah, who knows? Yeah. Like, yeah. But I just... That's why I don't see a Moon Knight thing yeah. there. I'm so glad uh, that you, you brought it back to Moon, <laughs> Moon Knight there, Rebecca. Uh, yeah, no, quickly. I was just like, what else we think? I mean... Uh, uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, all bets were oh, yeah. off. Anyone could have yeah. been it. Well, we, like, could, we you know, could. Yeah, we could really get yeah, just alternate anyone versions. Anyone could have been Yeah. We could get anyone, an alternate version, Konshu. Mm-hmm. Hey, we could get Tabitha. Tabitha. The um, female Moon Knight. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that would be, that would yeah, really get the... <laughs> That would be so funny to get, like, the the, the alternate <laughs> one before yeah, the yeah. actual. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be, <laughs> that would be... When is, when is... That's coming out. Oh yeah, I, end of, end of I this have, year, right? Like, with COVID, I have literally oh, yeah. no idea what these all these are in. But I think yeah. Doctor Strange two starts filming soon as well. Okay. So I think they're in pre production or they start soon. Cool. So yeah, be nice. Um, okay, so we'll just to um, just quickly, I guess, go through. We spoke about possible interactions with. Uh, with with the bigger MCU cinematic people, so Hawkeye, Black Widow, you know that potential Moon Knight, maybe having some sort of connection there. Um, I put I put in Ulysses Claw as well. He's the only Merc I can think of in the cinematic yeah, universe. So pretty, yeah, uh, um, him and Punisher, I guess, but I don't see yeah. them bringing Punisher back right now. No, and that being like Netflix, I, I don't know. I don't know what, what the... they've only just got the rights back. They've got the rights, yeah. They've got the rights back, but yeah, uh, that's you know, like with the whole white supremacist people using Punisher. I don't know. Oh, I, mean, I, yeah, I think yeah. they will bring Punisher in at some point, but I don't know if right now they'll no, be thinking that way. Got plenty of characters to to yeah. play with, anyway. Um, there's also this is the thing that I was mentioning before. I like this one. Yeah. yeah, the Conchu, the potential tie-in with the cosmic films because. If we are to draw from, say, the Lemire run mm-hmm. of Moon Knight, uh, Conchu and the Other Void, Over Void, pretty much deals with um, parallel cosmos. We really need Space Wolves, is what you're saying. Sorry? You need Space Wolves. Space Wolves, well. yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For sure. So, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, Asgard as well. I mean, they're considered gods, aren't they? So, Wakanda, you get punch- yeah, yeah. Wakanda, of course. Yeah. So there are potential. To- <laughs> You're the one who mentioned that, so it's funny that you didn't list it because like, no. it was in your mind. It, is, it was well, in your I mean, mind. Yeah, Just I mean, as, but they're not out of spacey. But anyway, that, that's yeah, true. But like, you're absolutely. right; they have the bast, so they like, do have it's bast, much yeah. there a connection there, a like because it's more of an Egyptian god. Yeah, exactly, a lot more connected. Yeah. yeah, true. So there's that con- connection with the cinematic universe, and finally, I put in military Thunderbolt Ross. Yeah, so just, um, military, potential. military stroke CIA. Um, yeah. yeah, discharge could, could Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt could he have discharged Mark? <laughs> From, I could see him knowing context. about him at least, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, potential. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So those are, I guess, ways that Moon Knight can be infiltrated um, retrospectively and 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 kind of in the upcoming shows and movies. Um, so it, it's interesting. Again, you know, this is all speculation, loonies. Um, yeah. We haven't yeah. got any there's bit no, of evidence. Yeah. There's no inside knowledge, and if there was, I'm not sure. I think I'd mm. push it into spoiler territory mm-hmm. and not go there in a sort of chat like this. Like, if we ever wanted to do yep. a spoiler chat, we'd very much label it a spoiler chat. So Absolutely. you're you're always going to be free if, if, if Ray doesn't say it's a spoiler zone. <laughs> yep. I assume this is always random speculation Just random speculation desperately like your views on it yeah absolutely so i mean we are recording this um earlier so but i will put up a a discussion thread it will be based on this discussion it'll be good to hear what you what you think um yeah how moon knight if anything is he going to be a standalone is he going to be like like he is dare i say in the comics where he's kind of you know yeah on his in his own little universe will they cameo him yeah. Or will they cameo his buddies? Who knows? We don't yeah, know who knows. the buddies are yet. So. <laughs> well, we know the look of one of them, Ethan Hawke. Yeah. So, um, that's about it. But he could be anyone. Um, Rebecca, before I guess we, we wrap up this discussion, you did put in this very cool article. Yes. From CBR. We didn't want to put... So this is potential spoilers for Killing mm-hmm. Black. 
Yeah. All right. So if you don't want to listen to potential spoilers for King and Black, this is why we haven't posted it on the Facebook page. Because, mm-hmm. well, you know, it's a bit weird. I don't like spoiling current events. True. But uh, CBR have posted an article um, which suggests that maybe uh, Moon Knight will be the person to come and actually get rid of the null. Hell yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Right. So the argument is that Donnie always tends to reuse, he he tends to have linked all of his Marvel work. Mm -hmm. So if you read um, King in Black issue four, there's a lot of stuff pulling from Silver Surfer Black and Mm -hmm. and other stuff that he's written. So he likes to tie things up quite neatly. And as we all know, he's written a little bit of Moon Knight. I know people don't think successfully necessarily, but it means he's aware of the character. And um, so they say that something in Daredevil 27 hints that Moon Knight might be uniquely qualified to stop Null. Um, And the hint is when Null's trying to take over Daredevil, because it's a crossover uh, issue, Daredevil 27. Mm. So when Matt's fighting Null, Null's inner monologue is taunting Matt and saying that you don't have any chance of fighting a god. And Noel mentions that beings from across the universe have tried to resist them and they failed. And he said that the only people that have almost beaten him have used madness or false faith. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, yeah. when you hear the yeah. term <laughs> madness or false faith in Marvel, yeah. it's very hard, especially with a street level book, to not <laughs> then jump to Moon Knight. It's, it's pretty much the only thing I think of. I mean... And now, usually I read CBR speculation articles and just go, huh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. But this one actually, like, this one strikes me as one that might have something to it. Cool, yeah. Um, and then they go and explain who Mark Spector is because it's CBR and they you know, don't really know. And also that they point out that it's interesting that during that Avengers run with the Phoenix, Mark goes, ah, I, I don't have time for this. Mm-hmm. You, you go fight amongst yourselves. Yes. So they're like, it's kind of interesting if, because he, you know, like, and, and that he, but he was able to take over the Phoenix force to use it to defeat Konshu. So he's capable of holding, of wielding that level of power that could take down Null. Yes. Uh, so they basically end up saying Moon Knight may end up being Marvel's best symbiote fighter. Now, having read King of Black 4, Yes, so, sorry, sorry, Rebecca. Can I just yeah, stop sorry, you there yeah. just before I lose this thought? Um, and further to that as well, I'm thinking of Moon Knight's involvement in Contagion, which was that small event, yeah. you know, where exactly. Moon Knight became the he was the savior for that that he was, tale for his exact for exactly his mix of uh, exactly madness. Exactly. Uh, he was able yeah. to beat that rather um, powerful. I don't know what it was. Kind of symbiotic, wasn't it? It was a, it was like yeah, a, it was the, the tree the, thingy. The, the, the yeah, the her, her, her little bit. <laughs> please don't, please don't try and say iron fist plant people. Iron fist plant people. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah. So uh, okay, I just wanted to say that because that was very similar, showing him, you know, winning again yeah. in that capacity so the only thing i was going to say and this is a proper spoiler for king and black four mm-hmm. is that at the end you do see eddie take on a new power set oh so th- that could possibly be where he was going with that okay. instead right but i think for a cbr speculation article this one like grabbed me as a little bit more fun and a little bit more likely yeah so it, you know keep your eyes on king in black five so, sorry, Rebecca. So Eddie Brock is is a little mad. I guess they're saying that, and he has lost some faith, right? So that could that could have been him, right? Yeah, or he could yeah. have faith, false faith in false Venom. faith. Yes, right. Yeah, right, right, you know. Faith. So um, yeah, yeah, that that works as well, I guess. So it would slightly work as well, but I think yeah. it does fit Moon Knight very nicely, and it would be a he he has like in King in Black, he did use Tony as someone who could do interesting things with symbiotes that other people couldn't. Mm-hmm. So he's not averse to letting other characters from Marvel come and Jean Grey just came and blasted. So he has been sort of picking other Marvel characters to come in and, and play around. So that's just a little okay. addition. Nothing yeah, no. to do with the MCU, but we didn't really know where else to put it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a bit of white noise, so, a bit of, bit <laughs> so of news. So with a heavy spoiler yep. tag, that's, that's, we'll just raise that here. 
Oh, reminded. Yeah, I, I probably should put that. I'll put that in the show notes as well. That there will be some spoilers for King in Black. Was it four? Did you say? Yep. Uh, yeah. Four. Yeah. Righty. Well, there you go. Okay, so um, there you go, loonies. I mean, th- uh, plenty of stuff there to to kind of digest and and chew on, um, as well as that um, nice little bit on on the news there. Look, we're just going to take a quick break. We're going to hear from a very new podcast. I just want to give a bit of a shout out to. And when we come back, uh, we'll wrap up this uh, this episode. Catch you then. are you a fan of comic books are you a fan of comic book villains well join me russell as we take a walk on the dark side with tomes of evil the podcast dedicated to discussing, analyzing, and overall glorifying the villains of Marvel Comics, DC Comics, and all your favorite indie books. Tomes of Evil, a comic book villain podcast. Yes, welcome back, loony listeners. You are listening to Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. This is episode 190. You just heard uh, a very cool ad there for Tomes of Evil. It's a new podcast there by Russell Moran. Very fun. I, I highly urge you to, to give it a listen. It's, it's just started, but there's going to be a few more episodes uh, kicking off very soon. Uh, Rebecca, just before we wrap up, I guess, there's uh, we've got Nightlines. These are uh, just some some bits of feedback from... Uh, from Loonies on past episodes, and uh, so on YouTube, uh, got a message from CMK7, aka Chris. How you going, Chris? It's been a while. Good to hear from you. Uh, and he's talking about the Isla Ra sessions with Russell Moran, uh, episode 187. Oh, nice. Yeah, so really fun episode, guys. I wonder how Russell feels about when our boy Mooney battled the demon Hobgoblin. Not the same hobby as Russell's favourite, but a pretty impressive showing from Mark nonetheless. Uh, yes, thank you, Chris. Very cool. Russell is a huge Hobgoblin fan. Uh, Rebecca, do you know much about Hobby? No. Gobby? I'm just Hobby, I'm Gobby? trying not to, like, <laughs> imagine being a huge Hobgoblin fan. But, I, you know, like, I'm I'm not... That's not dissing anyone. I'm just... No. I'm not... I haven't read a lot of Spider-Man. Mm. Like, I mean, obviously I've read a lot with Spider-Man in it because it's hard to read Marvel without. But mm. I've never read... I don't think I've ever read since I was a kid the actual spider-man title so i know oh. the film. i like hobgoblin's look yes very and cool. i like his power set so mm-hmm. i i like i can see it but like to me it's almost i mean i would say the same about green goblin i like i can't imagine anyone being a huge fan of them mm. and like you know so it's like it's just it's weird to me because it's not something i know yeah but i can actually imagine it so it's kind of like it, that's a weird initial reaction i apologize <laughs> but no i know very little about hobgoblin except his look and, oh, yes. and that's it. Oh, very good look. Um, a very few good people, look. Like, very yeah. strong look. Dare I say, I don't know if I'm it's a hot take or not, but I, I like his aesthetic better than Green Goblin. Um, I do as well. I like, yeah. yeah. I do as well. Just, just the the face and the the red eyes and all that. So, um, it's very just, cool. It just cool. Like, yeah, he does. So, um, and Demo Goblin, Demo Hob Goblin. I didn't, what? I didn't know there was, I didn't know there was more than one Hob Goblin. I think that's why I'm laughing <laughs> when when you said when you when you said not the same hobby as Ross. I don't know the, I don't know that. I to me, there's only I don't, I clearly don't know my Spider Man lore enough. Oh, to, yeah. to comment on that. So that, I think that's why I was laughing because oh, you know yeah. it was something shows you up as like. Oh, oh you don't even know the start of it. Like, yeah. oh, <laughs> no, that's fair enough. Um but the you know, that the battle with Moon Knight, I think that was that was in Mark Spector, Moon Knight, um God, what was that? That was shortly after actually Rebecca Scarlet Redemption. Um so around then. Right. Um I'm thinking thirty one, thirty two. I think the, yeah. the 
the epilogue was 31, so maybe 32, 33, something like that. Um, the demo goblin, a demon possessed hobgoblin. Um, which sounds great. Which sounds, yeah, really cool. But yeah, Chris, thank demon, you so much. Demon possessed anything. Very good. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, and let me tell you as well, Rebecca, the action figure of the Demo Goblin, Demo Hobgoblin. Jeez, it's a bloody mouthful. The it's a mouthful. Hobgoblin is just, it doesn't roll off. Anyway, um, that is a really a really fine action figure as well. Um, so just nice. wanted to say that. Uh, so thank you, Chris. Thank you for that. Um, Rebecca, that pretty much wraps up this episode. Thank you so much. It's It's fun to to chat about this stuff hopefully one day and very soon actually we will get more info on this tv show i know i'm so, kind of excited now we've sort of raised that as a yeah. as a possibility it is coming soon it's it's coming very soon um and next phase rebecca if you're willing to to jump back on later in the week um we have yeah. uh yeah excellent excellent um we have a full moon loonies towards the end of the week so it is a moon and stars meaning it is a film centric episode so off the back of our discussion um just now rebecca and i will dive into uh the moon knight cast what we know so i guess we'll just go through again nothing has been announced i might be wrong by the time this comes out or by the time episode 191 comes out something may be revealed but we'll be looking at the likes of oscar isaac may kalamoe and ethan hawk uh and i guess they're their CV, their portfolio, Rebecca. Yeah, <laughs> and, um, what we know about them, which is not much. But, is not know. much, no. But uh, hopefully it's a primer for those that, <laughs> who want to get acquainted with the actors that will be part of yeah, your I mean, favourite show. Yeah, that's what I'm planning to do, yeah. Yeah. Um, so until then, Loonies, as always, it's been a, a great fun chatting. Uh, Rebecca, thanks once again. Loonies, you can contact us through various social platforms. You can drop us a line on email at itkmoonnight at gmail.com. We have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash itkmoonnight, and a Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash itkmoonnight. We are on Twitter. Our handle is at itkmoonnight, and we're on Instagram, Tumblr, YouTube to search for into the night a moon night podcast we're also on a discord just search for the server into the night with a k please leave an itunes rating or review if you can it helps us reach other loonies out there too also if you have any feedback we also look to improve ourselves and the show finally we're on all good podcast catches apple podcast google play stitcher Spotify, iHeartRadio, also on Podcoin. Please check us out and share episodes with your friends. Moon Knight and affiliated characters, stories and events are properties of Marvel Characters Incorporated. Materials used and discussed within the podcast are intended for critique and review purposes only under the fair dealing concept of the current Copyright Act. The views, information or opinions expressed during the podcast are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent those of the copyright owners.